happy home groomers, it's Mel here and we have Summer the Bichon with us today. She is actually Dasha's mum. We are actually going to do a video on um, brushing her because she actually hasn't been brushed probably for about two to three weeks so she has got quite a few knots in her. So we are going to brush them out before the bath, but I just want to show you that um, you can do this at home. So the tools that we are going to use today is a flexi slicker. So this is the Artero one. So it's got a firm side and a soft side. We will definitely be using the firm side today. And we are going to use a dematting tool. This one's a Showtech one but you can use, um, there's like Artero brand, there's lots of other little brands of them. Um, and we definitely need a metal comb. So this just makes sure we can cross check all our work. And today I'm going to be using the Everyday Co Conditioning Spray. I've chosen the Everyday, which I normally use on her because she does get heat spots and little bits of um, skin complaints so and I find that every day with the tea tree and the peppermint and the eucalyptus it's very cooling and soothing on her skin so um, let's get started I like to groom my dogs either my dogs laying down or sitting um, I like to teach them to lay down when I groom them which is great and it's a lot easier I've also popped a non-slip mat um, so she cannot slip around on this mat at all so she's nice and comfortable and what we're going to do is grab our coat conditioning spray and spritz our area that we're going to start with and I like to do sections at a time so because she hasn't been brushed for quite a few weeks um, it, it is a lengthy process so I will probably do small parts at a time so I'll probably do one leg pop her down she can have a play and then pick her up do another leg and just reward her that way she is a little bit grumbly she kind of always makes these little squeaky noises as well I don't know why okay so we're going to start with the bottom bottom toe and I've gently pulled the hair back and I'm just brushing downwards Once we have brushed out one section, we are going to cross check that with our comb, making sure our comb goes through nice and smoothly. And then we are going to do our next section. So give it another spritz and the coat conditioning spray, spray will um, add hydration back to the coat and it'll also create a little bit of slip for us to brush out that dead coat that's causing those knots. And I tend to go downwards when I'm trying to um, brush out dog's coat, so brush out any knots or any tangles. So once we go through that coat, grab our comb, and I can feel a knot there. I know, I'm sorry. So we are just going to work through that area. If it's a hard knot, that the slicker's not teasing that out, I'm going to pick up our dematting tool. Our dematting tool has little, um, they're like little blades on the, on the actual tool. So it's important when we're using it that we're not making contact with that skin. So just gently, and it just gently teases out that coat, that dead hair, and that knot. And when our brush gets full of hair, we do want to remove this because what it actually does is when we have dead hair in the brush and we're brushing, our, it actually feels like there's knots there when in fact there's not. So a nice clean brush all the time is really, really super important. You can see with her hair here is quite matted through there and you can't really see her skin and she does um, she does live with my parents so she goes walking everywhere so all the wet dewy grass tends to knot up her legs a lot so we're just going to pull another section down with our slicker 
and try and separate that coat and work through it with our slicker brush using the firmer side. Going to tease out any little knots and it's mostly just dead undercoat that I'm pulling out of her now. And then back through with our slicker and cross check with our comb. There's still a little tangle in there. Sorry, honey. And then with our slicker. And it is a little bit of a process. And we will repeat this process on each on each leg. We have gone through her um, her body and her legs. We just have her head, her little ears behind her ears and her tail left. So her tail um, gets quite knotty quite fast as well. So we will just spend a little bit of time brushing out her tail, give it a good spray. And it's important that we just do small sections at a time with our slicker and brushing downwards. So with the grain of the coat, so how the coat lies. And we can see that there is lots of knots and tangles through her tail. And through this area here, it is quite matted. So I am going to get our little detangling tool and just tease a little bit out. So teasing it away from the skin. And then once I've moved it away from the skin, I'm going to pick my slicker back up and just brush through it. Once we've got through that knot, cross check with our comb and then move on to our next section. And we are going to repeat this process through her entire tails. We are just about finished brushing through her tail and it's quite beautiful now. And our comb can go through it with ease. And our next area is going to be her little head. So the first part that I start with is behind the ears. It's so, so important and I see it all the time, these big golf balls behind those ears. So we'll start working on those. So pulling that ear forward, spraying that area. And again, just have a feel to see where the matting is and where it's starting and then just brushing small sections at a time and it's so important when we are brushing out any any knots or any small little tangles or little mats it's important that we don't continually go over that area too hard because this can actually cause brush burn so if the matting is too, too much for you to brush out, you can go to your groomer and your groomer might have to clip those areas out. And I'm going to pick up my dematting tool. Just pull the mats away from the skin. So I have completely brushed her out so she has no major knots left in her. This is probably about as much as I would brush out of a dog if, if she was any more, um, had major matting or anything like that I would have definitely clipped her off um, and made her a lot more comfortable but it was mostly just undercoat in her and as you can see um, this is the coat that we that we brushed out of her and it is a completely different colour so it's a dirty dead undercoat that was just sitting there doing nothing other than causing knots and mats in her so it's a different colour so now um, even though she is still pretty dirty she is um, a lot whiter as well so what we're going to do now is we're going to pop her in the bath We 
have completed her first shampoo and rinsed her so now we are going to do her second shampoo. So I will massage the conditioner through her coat and I'll probably leave this on for a good probably five to maybe seven minutes um, because I really want her to get a really good deep conditioning because she did have a lot of knots. Come on Tama, good girl. Now I'm going to give her a good good towel dry and make sure I get all that excess water off. I am actually going to dry her with a high velocity dryer. If you don't have a high velocity dryer at home, that's okay. Um, you can use a normal handheld blow dryer, but you will have to brush at the same time. So like we have done in the past with our other drying videos. Okay, so before I dry her, I am just going to give her coat a good spray with the everyday coat conditioning spray because I still want to create a little bit of slip when I dry her and try and get as much dead coat as possible out of her. So Summer is 100% dry, so she has no, um, no damp patches on her at all. I'm just going to spritz all her legs and we are going to repeat the process like we did earlier. So we're going to brush one leg, the next leg, the next leg, the next leg, the body, tail, ears, head, behind the ears and repeat that process with our slicker brush. As you can see, Summer is completely groomed out. Now this is a huge process. So if you are thinking about grooming out your dog's legs that have knots in them, it is a process that takes a little bit of time. So allow your dog time to adjust to what you're going to do. So if you guys have any questions, and you guys might have a few because it is a huge job grooming out a dog with knots and tangles and mats and things like that, Pop them in the comments below and we will get back to you. But until next time, like, share and um, keep watching.